sorry, I'm just, I don't have a uh, stand out here to hold my camera on. But, hi, uh, I'm back from Greece. Um, I'm still very, very much jet lagged. Um, it's been a struggle. We got back on Sunday, it's now Thursday. No, it's now Friday. And I haven't had a full night's sleep yet. So, it's kicking my butt. But it's sunny at the moment, and so I'm gonna make the most of that and film my artworks that I created in my sketchbook and also on paper so that I can show you all a bit about what happened and uh, what we got up to while we were at the retreat on Skopelos. It was an amazing time. We absolutely loved it. The weather was a bit dodgy to start with, but it ended up beautiful at the end. And the group of people that I was teaching were absolutely beautiful. They were a joy to teach and I absolutely loved it. Uh, so I'm gonna go through my sketchbook and my um, one-off paintings that I did and talk to you about the trip. On the trip I took two sketchbooks and some uh, loose sheets of watercolor paper these were actually on um, blocks of watercolor paper and I've taken them off but I had this little sketchbook here and this larger one uh, and so I'm gonna take you through what happened I'm gonna try and get it chronological so I'm gonna go through day by day as we kind of worked uh, just so that it makes sense and I can sort of show you the progress of what we did uh, most of the students on this workshop were very much beginners to watercolour. Um, I think only maybe one or two of them had used watercolour or played with watercolour before uh, and most had never touched gouache before either. So I definitely started very much with the basics of watercolour. Um, so this sketchbook, by the way, is a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook for those that are interested in brands. What it is, it's a hardcover uh, Strathmore uh, let me just double check that it is the mixed media one. Well, 99% sure it is. Yes, it is. Uh, there you go. Strathmore 500 series mixed media. Um, and I, I started it upside down, but whatever. I don't care. It's all the same. Uh, this was a little sketch that I did uh, on the first day that we arrived, um, just in my room, uh, the view from my room. <laughs> uh, and this was the first day of actual class. So I talk, took them through the process of you know, some basic skills in watercolour, mostly you know how to apply wet on wet, how to apply wet on dry. Um, we did some colour mixing. I bought everybody three colours in a little tin. Um, the the colours were quinacridone lilac, new gamboge and ultramarine turquoise to create a mini um, limited palette. And so I took them through colour mixing this palette and um, the, the practical side of just doing some sketches. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure, ah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's another page in here before that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, just took them through some basics of watercolour. 
uh, and also the difference between watercolour and gouache. Uh, so gouache is a um, opaque watercolour, so it is a little bit different when you go to apply it and what you can do with it. But the first session of painting was basically just taking them through the basics. Uh, it was raining the first three days that we were on location, so um, it was really good to be able to start with these really simple um, colour swatching and basic sort of sketching just to get the feel of the colours and the feel of painting with watercolour. So this is another really quick sketch that I did. It's just the view of uh, Skopolos. This is one of the terrace houses and of course one of the kitties that we had in the room. This was a kitty that kept visiting my room and my daughter's room. We named him Squat because he was a bit of a squatter. <laughs> he, once he came in he, he didn't want to leave. Um, so yeah, that's what we did on the first day. On the second morning of this 10 day painting workshop, uh, I focused a little bit more on gouache. Uh, so we kind of worked on this, um, this little sketch and gouache painting of a tree that was on the terrace that we're painting. Um, I really wanted everyone to have something in front of them that they could paint so we could all see this tree. And so we were able to look at the shadows and the lights and play around with gouache because gouache is very different to watercolor. Uh, this was another little sample that I did just to demonstrate um, with a value study and how to simplify everything into basic shapes and I talked a little bit about simplifying the scene and yeah we did this we did this together which um, a lot of the students found much easier just to do a very step-by-step -step, uh, process of painting because again a lot of them didn't have a lot of experience with painting with watercolor and gouache so uh, it was really important that they got these basics um, understood and I was very very slow and step by step with it. So for the first couple of days we ma mainly had art sessions in the morning and then that left the afternoon for everyone to kind of rest as they wanted or explore the shops and explore the town of Scopolos on their own a little bit. Um, that a few times we met up for dinner as well so that was really nice. Um, these were a couple of sketches that I did. Um, yeah, because that's right, the next morning. So I'm trying to remember the order of everything. The, the next morning after our little session, uh, actually, I think it was the afternoon that we did the gouache. Yes, it was. In the afternoon, we took a walk down the Castro. So the Castro is basically the old part of town um, where all the pathways and the houses are. And so I just took some photos while I was walking down and used them later on in my room as some did some sketches. So these are all just watercolor sketches. Um, the scenery is just so inspiring and beautiful. It was like hard to not, you know, <laughs> find something to sort of look at. jump to my little sketchbook now. This is a Real Talons uh, sketchbook. It's, uh, I think it's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, so it's only a tiny one. But um, this was really great to just chuck in my bag and take when we were going for walks. 
so uh, this was I'm just gonna skip back a few days because this was the day that we had a walk around the Castro and um, we walked up to the top of the hill and we could see the view of the water and all these churches and a view of the town of Skopelos from a different perspective and so we did some we had a chance to do some sketching and drawing while we were up there and so I did this sketch here um, I did another couple little sketches this was again pen and wash sketch uh, so they were really fun this was another one so I'm gonna have to adjust my, <laughs> adjust my angle this is a bit of everything this is a bit of a bit of pan, a bit of watercolour. I went over it later on with some um, Neo Colour pastels just to bring out some of the lights that I lost. Um, just one of the alleyways. So the next painting session that we did the following morning, I spoke a little bit about composition and I did some uh, of these little test sketches because I wanted everyone to start doing a painting together. I'm just gonna find, see if I can find the order that we did these in. I believe we did this painting here uh, together on this day. So. I did this in, I can't remember which one I did first actually, <laughs> they're both pretty much the same scene but I did one um, with the students and I did one in the, the room beforehand. I think this was the first one I did and we used this as an example and so then all the students I took them through step by step and this was the painting that we all did together. Pretty sure that happened on this day um, when I was talking about yeah, composition and working on an art piece together. Or the next painting session that we did um, we worked in our sketchbooks creating um, a bit of a page of line and wash so line and wash is where you sketch a lot with ink so this is probably the best example if I zoom in so you do the sketch with either pencil or a strong ink but you can uh, it's like a permanent ink so it's not going to wash off and then you just use the watercolor and the gouache to color it in so it's kind of like coloring in the lines and it was a very relaxing morning that we did this. It was quite, I think it was quite a windy morning. So it was nice just to sit down and play around with our materials um, because we kind of had a chance to explore what the students preferred, whether they preferred gouache or if they preferred watercolor and just did like a relaxing sort of paint and chat session together. So that's what this spread was. Um, so all of these were just based off photos that I'd taken uh, the day before when we went for a walk.
so heading back to my little book um, these were some sketches that I did while I was down near the harbour um, uh, this was just pencil and this was a bit of ink and watercolour uh, and again these were just pen and wash sketches of some of the um, buildings and interesting architecture so yeah the Scopolos Castro area The next day was the first day of good weather that we had. And so we were taken to uh, the, our local beach, which was called um, Agnontus Beach. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's what it was called. I obviously wrote that down because that's what it was called. Um, and so uh, we did some school snorkeling and had lunch there. We took like a local bus in the morning. It was only maybe a, a 20 minute bus ride and went to this beach and it was beautiful as all the beaches were, the water was incredibly clear and just so beautiful to swim in. Um, so I did some sketching. That's you know, my daughter on the sun chair and um, a view of the beach here. And then when I got back to my room, I think I did this one as well. This is a mixture of gouache and watercolor. So this is a view of the beach. And I'll share some photos and some videos of the beach too. Um, I did some snorkeling at this beach and my daughter snorkeled for the first time here as well. And she absolutely loved it. So that was a really good day. The island of Skopelos is where we went in Greece and it's most famous for being the place that the movie Mamma Mia was filmed. So they have a tour that you can go on that takes you around to some of the locations that were used in the film. So we went to this um, the church on like the top of this big hill. Um, you could actually walk up the stairs to this church. I didn't because I didn't think that my hip would like me <laughs> doing that. I was having enough trouble walking up the stairs of Skopelos, let alone um, walking up that church. But yeah, we were able to uh, see a lot of the island on this tour because the bus sort of went around to the other side of the island to get to this church. And so we had a, a lovely relaxing day with a wonderful tour guide that told us some history and some interesting facts about the area. We had a chance to do some sketching on location. So uh, we, I sort of demonstrated sketching, how to approach sketching this view that we had. Uh, and this was some of the, the views as well from the, the, the hill. So this is all watercolour. Um, this one here is another one that I did. So St John's Church, that's what it's called. Uh, this is a mixture of watercolour and again neocolour um, pastels. So they're the, the water, water soluble pastels. Uh, and there's just another, another sketch, sketch of a different angle. So yeah, that was a really great day too.
because we had such a big day on the bus touring around, we went to a few different places. We also ended up at a place called Miller Beach on that day as well. And so we spent the afternoon swimming at the beach and relaxing by the water. And we just had a beautiful day there, but it was a big day. So we were pretty exhausted the next day. And so we kind of had just a relaxing um, session in the morning uh, and in the afternoon, working on some flowers. Um, the flowers and the, the foliage around Scopolos in the gardens that people have are just so beautiful. So I took everybody through, um, we did some sketching of, let me see, I've got some here. We did some really loose um, Bougainvillea inspired paintings. These are in watercolor. So really expressive, colorful, bold, and very loose and easy to sort of manage without having to worry too much about details. Uh, so we did those and we did some work in our sketchbook as well. And then at the end of the day, uh, in the afternoon session after lunch, we also worked on this painting together. And so I taught everybody um, some negative painting and also how to build up different layers in the background of something using the negative painting technique. And that was a lot of fun and everyone had a great time doing that painting as well. Um, so after this day of flowers, we went for another walk through the Castro area. It was quite windy on this day. We were going to go down and do some sketching of the boats, but it was too windy. So instead I uh, talked everyone through um, uh, some perspective and one point perspective mostly, and how to actually get the angles of the buildings correct when sketching, um, because that was a real challenge. Uh, because like, the, the area, it's obviously there's a lot of houses Quite close together there's a lot of really interesting angles and alleyways and getting everything to look correct in perspective really takes a little bit more skill than just um, fluffing around with it so we did talk a little bit about perspective some of the students found that quite challenging but it is something that you will get better at when you practice it takes a lot of practice to sort of see the angles and to understand everything but once you do it makes creating more accurate sketches a lot easier and so we did do that for a little while and um, this was the Scopolos Harbour that I sketched as well that day. 
this was <laughs> this was a challenge i mean there is so many things in here there's just buildings and buildings and buildings and when you're looking at a really complicated scene like that it's hard to determine exactly you know what is what um it just feels like putting a puzzle together so um i spent probably about half an hour doing this sketch while i was waiting for everybody to meet us for dinner and i did this little watercolor as well i'm actually really happy with this this is probably one of the the happiest i am in this little sketchbook anyway this was just a, a boat that was in the harbour. I think that's all I did that day. Let me just scooch through. Yeah, I did that in another day. Okay, let's have a look back at the other one again. So back to my big sketchbook. Uh, this was just some demonstrating of the negative space. I'm um, using positive and negative shapes to sort of cut out some interesting areas. Um, and these were a few sketches that I did based on reference photos that I had, that I had taken. Um, there was heaps of blue um blueberries not blueberries um blackberry bushes in the area as well that i had took a lot of photos of because the color was just beautiful and so i spent some time back in my room in between classes and eating to uh, do some sketching of that as well so these are some more sketches that i did just simple colour studies and watercolour sketches. This is probably a bit more of an involved sketch than what I would usually do, but it was still lots of fun. I think that's everything that I did in this sketchbook. I was hoping to fill a lot more pages, but it just didn't end up that way. But that's all right. Um, so let's gonna go back to um, some of these other pieces. So this was one of the last paintings that we all worked on together during the workshop. I took everybody through this step by step. Uh, so this is a scene that we, I took a photo of this, actually I didn't take a photo, This one of the students took this photo and we used, used, as, used it as a reference uh, and we all painted this scene together. It was a very challenging scene for everybody and I was really impressed with how everyone managed it. Uh, it's, it's not an easy thing to do to get so much definition with rocks and sea and hills and it was definitely a challenge but everyone did an amazing job. This was sitting at the beach of Skopolos. Um, at this sort of brick hill here, uh, on top of this hill is where all the churches are, and those little stairs go around the corner to the main town. Um, my daughter and her boyfriend and I spent our last day on Skopolos, sitting around this beach and enjoying the sunshine, and we did a lot of snorkeling, and it was a beautiful day. Um, we actually saw the most fish underwater in this particular location. Uh, and so I had sketched this briefly the day before, I think actually, I don't even remember now. I'm terrible at dating things, but it definitely happened on the last day or so that I sketched this. Uh, and this was another one that I sketched on location. Again, coming through the Castro area, there's, there's all these beautiful little gardens and pot areas that people have just, you know, filled with greenery. And so you'll be walking through these brick houses and these old shabby buildings and then you walk around the corner and suddenly there's just greenery everywhere and flowers and it's light and shade and it's just beautiful. So that was one of the ones that I did there as well. And I think there's a few more in this little sketchbook that I can show you. Oops. So this is the scene from um, our accommodation. This is what we could see down the hill. Uh, this was done with some uh, lots of things, water soluble textures and pencil and pen and <laughs> that was just a, a loose sketch. Um, of course I sketched some kitties. 
the kitties in Scopolos are amazing. There are so many and there was one cat in particular that we, we named Uni. I'm pretty sure that's not the cat's name, but that's what we called it. Uh, and Uni, this little guy here, he actually slept on my bed. Well, I'm pretty sure she was a she. Um, and she slept on my bed in my room every single night and cuddled up to me and she was just the sweetest little girl. Um, I think she was actually quite an old cat. Um, Was based on a photo so you can probably hear my dog barking in the background um, this was again the view from the harbour uh, this sketch we did on I did on the last day that we were all working together so we went on a sailboat and that sailboat took us to all sorts of places and I did this sketch whilst on the sailboat This is a view of the cafe area that were that I sketched while we were waiting for our ferry to go home. And there was another sketch of that. And another one. These are all watercolour, obviously. Uh, this was a watercolour sketch that I did based on uh, a photo that I took. And that's all for this sketchbook. So. That was my trip to Greece. Obviously, there was a lot of other things that happened in between these filming and arts things. We went out to some beautiful restaurants, did lots of swimming. I took so many photos. Uh, believe it or not, the majority of the photos I actually took ended up being underwater photos because I love snorkeling. I love being under the water. It's just... Uh, I, I can't explain it. Um, and so the majority of my, of my actual camera roll are uh, videos like this and photos like this because I was incredibly inspired by the landscape under the water. It's just so totally different and alien to what I'm used to seeing. So here's just a snippet of some of the photos underwater I took just with my iPhone in a waterproof casing. 
Uh, and I really want to invest in like a proper underwater camera, like a GoPro or something. But for now, I just had my iPhone. So some of them are a little bit blurry, but I actually really love the semi-abstract quality to it. And out of this whole trip, I feel as though a lot of the inspiration for, for work coming up uh, that I want to develop is going to be based on these underwater abstract side of sort of crazy landscapes. So stay tuned because I'm a little obsessed and this is what I'm going to be painting a lot of. But it, oh yeah, I loved it. So yeah, that was our trip. Um, if you are, you know, super inspired by this trip and interested in maybe joining us, um, rumor has it, we will be coming back again next year. So uh, you can sign up to the Audible newsletter on their website to find out announcements for upcoming trips. And I will also obviously announce on all of my social media the dates for the 2024 trip once we've planned it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for joining me. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe so that you're notified for any upcoming videos. And I will see you all again soon.